Hello and welcome. My name is Anna and today we're talking how to protect yourself from dark energy beings and their influences. As a house healer, I deal with these beings every single day. So let's get into it. How to protect yourself from dark energy beings. So the first point to look at when you want to protect yourself from dark energy influence is just to realize that these beings are energy. They feed off energetic imprints. It's as simple as that. So a lot of the methods I'm going to talk about today are things that you can do to change the energy around you and not attract these beings anymore. There is no magic solution. I've been doing this a long time. And I have uh, good days and I have days when they are just around me all the time. And it's because of the emotional imprints that I'm creating because of what I'm going through in my life at that time. So the first thing we're going to look at is living in a more positive mindset. So whether this is mentally, emotionally, physically or even spiritually, when we look at the thoughts we create, the words we use, our actions and our reactions, Everything you do creates a vibration. I talk about this all the time. And remember, these energy beings are drawn to vibrations. So if you can learn to be less reactive in certain situations, I know I have to do this myself. I'm not pointing the finger at anyone out there. We are humans. We create emotions. But learning to react in a more positive way creates a higher vibration and therefore, these beings aren't going to come near you. So living in a more positive mindset is one form of protection against dark energy beings. So another aspect is to look at the type of relationships that you have. Whether you have toxic people in your life, whether you have high vibrational uplifting people in your life, whether this is personally through your family, through your work or socially, be particular about the type of people that you are around. And I know with family members, it can be difficult, but it's learning to do what I talked about with the first aspect is changing your thoughts, your words, your reactions. Everything that you do in a more positive way creates less of these emotions that attract these dark energy beings. So another thing you can do is to look at the type of viewing that you watch. Do you watch a lot of horror movies, a lot of traumas, a lot of dramas that have a lot of violence in them? Everything creates a vibration. So horror movies, movies with a lot of gore, with a lot of human suffering, anything that triggers you in a movie to create negative emotions is going to attract these beings. People don't realize how much their viewing creates vibrations in their home and in their personal souls. So when those vibrations are present and they build up, that's when these beings are present. So change your viewing. Watch more lighthearted, more humorous, things that make you feel good. And you're not going to attract the paranormal beings. So we're going to talk on a more personal level now. If you have any high level addictions such as alcohol or drug taking, these are lower vibrational activities. They lower the energy in your body. They affect your health, your mental, your emotional and your spiritual health. These activities create that low vibration that then attracts these dark energy beings to you. And they're going to hang around while you're in that mind state and in that addiction. So if you find that you have an addiction that is controlling your life, seek medical health, see a mental health professional. When you can get that under control, you're not going to attract the paranormal beings. Now, I'm going to talk to energy workers here. Whether you do Reiki, sound therapy, crystal therapy, whether you're a house healer or an energy field clearer, because of the level of work that you are doing, you're working on a spiritual level. You are opening yourself up to these dark energy beings being attracted to you. Because when you do energy work, you create like a beacon. There's a change in your vibration. There's a change in your auric field. 
And these energy beings are drawn to people who do energy work. Now, I know this because I do this myself, and I've been through this a lot. This is why I can talk about it on a personal level and share this information, because I find that if I tune in to do a house clearing job or an energy field clearing for someone, as soon as I tune into that person and create that cording connection, when I talk to their higher self to do the clearing, any paranormal beings that are present are aware that I am there and I'm going to be clearing the place or the person. So energy field workers need to check themselves every single time after they've done a clearing. Because dark energy beings are conniving and they are sneaky and they will hide in your energy field until you go to bed and then you find you have a disrupted night's sleep. So be aware of your energy, be aware of your behaviours and your emotions. And this will help you to be aware of these beings and keep them away. So another thing you can do on a spiritual level is to call on your spiritual support network, whether that be guides, angels, archangels, Buddha, Jesus, God, whoever it is that you want to work with. But again, you can't rely on them to do all the work. They can give you one level of protection. So this protection that I'm talking about is on four different facets of our life, mentally, emotionally, physically and spiritually. We need to keep ourselves in check all the time. And once you start living in this high vibrational state, you just don't attract these beings. I attract far less now than I did 20 years ago. You would be surprised. And I know because I'm constantly monitoring myself. So talking with your guides, angels, archangels, they can help you on a spiritual level. Another thing you can do is you can use crystals. Crystals raise the vibration around you. I did another video talking about crystals, sage and paranormal beings, which I will link above. It's not a one-stop shop. You to just go, oh, I'm just going to wear tourmaline. That'll just keep all the demons away. So the one really important thing is don't go looking for dark energies. Some people just have this fascination about, I just want to know, I just want to see them, I just want to feel them, I want to know what they're about. I suggest just don't even do that. Because when they know you're interested and you're attracted to them, they're going to come visiting. It is as simple as that, right? If you have some level of paranormal addiction, which most people do, most people are what I call the curious level, and that is fine. You just want to know, you know, where do I go when I die? I wonder what else is out there. But you don't actually go purposely, with intention, looking for these beings. I'd like to mention an experiment I've been doing on myself, and some of my clients have also been doing this too, to keep these dark energy beings away. It's what I call the bubble up. So it's like a traditional white light or golden light bubble. But this is more, how it was shown to me was a big, thick, gelatinous bubble. Now, you can hear people around you, you can see people around you, you can go about your life as normal. But this gelatinous bubble, to some level, will keep these dark energies away because they simply will come in and they're kind of bounced off it. And I've had clients who've had great success with using this, along with working on their mental health, working on their physical health, their spiritual health, and also keeping their emotions under control and finding other ways to express themselves that don't create negative emotions. If you would like a written copy of how to do the bubble up technique, feel free to contact me through my email address, which I will leave in the description box, and I will send that out to you. And then you can practice, you can share it with friends, see how you can adapt it. Sometimes people find that they need to use one bubble or two bubbles or three bubbles. It's just play with it, have fun with it. This is all about finding techniques that work for you. But I have found that since management showed me this bubble up technique, it has really made changes in my life and it is helping my clients to another level. So I hope you found this interesting today. I have lots of information I can share and I will continue to share as long as I can. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Send me an email through my email that is in the description box. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've gained some information about how you can protect yourself from dark energy beings. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you and